All right, let's talk about one of the rookies that's really come out into the league and played great right away, Drake London, who does a lot of things very well, and we're going to talk about what he's done well, how he's been able to be successful already for the Atlanta Falcons, and you know, uh, there's some things he can do very well that can kind of set up other things is a big thing that, uh, you know, Drake London does well. So we're going to start off with this play. This is going to be, you know, kind of a simple concept, but this is what allows him to kind of branch off and do other stuff. It's, it reminds me a lot of A.J. Brown, reminds me a lot of Justin Jefferson in his first season of kind of, this is what, what everything starts with. It's in the Arthur Smith offense, which is where, you know, A.J. Brown was drafted into. That was obviously back in Tennessee. You have London running over the middle. A lot of times you'll do play actions to get the linebackers to move in. You're not doing that here. However, when this ball is snapped, you see London sit down into a gap in coverage, and he is absolutely open here. Is this the most difficult play? No. Is this kind of scheme, uh, you know, schemed open? I would say so. I would say yes. And I think that that's okay. Listen, part of being a receiver is just doing what the scheme designs, which is what he did. As you see, it was a throw. It, you know, uh, London was able to make the grab. Okay, nothing too fancy there. No, but that sets up everything else. And one of the things that I want to talk about now is Drake London. The best thing about him coming out of college was his route running. That's just what he does at such a high level. He is an elite route runner. Like something like this is a great example of how that elite route running paired with kind of the knowledge of what you know that you can do well and what the opponent knows what you can do well is you can get them to believe that you're running over the middle when you aren't. And this is going to be a great example of that and how a good route runner can take advantage of situations like this. Look at how right when this play begins, you see, I mean, he's totally believable that he's running over the middle. If I saw this, I'd be like, oh yeah, he's about to run over the middle. That's I would just assume that that's what's happening. So when London instead cuts to the outside, he does get wide open. He's able to make the grab. So just great route running. And that's just what he can do so consistently. He understands leverage well. He's just a smart player who understands where he has to go in all situations and does a great job at uh, taking advantage of that. And with his route running, that's what's been, you know, allowed him to be so successful already just you know entering into the league. A play like this is going to be another example where this time it's a little bit different. So this time it's going up against a cover three zone, running a, a go route right here. So typically, again, go route. What do you do? You just try to run fast. Well, one of the things that is a fair criticism of Drake London, he isn't the fastest wide receiver. But of course, who cares about speed, right? What is the point of this? The point of football and the point of being a wide receiver is to be able to get open that's what you're trying to do and so watch how one his play begins again look at how he starts this route off I mean this is you know you're you're probably sitting here saying wait a second I thought you said this is a go route this isn't a go route look he's you know looks like he's blocking what is he doing here I think the defensive back is probably thinking the same thing look at how his hips are completely turned towards the middle and look at how far in he is and because of that this is a great situation here for Drake London. As you see, he does run past that corner. He is able to make the catch and they're able to pick up a big gain. And this is how London can win on the outside. You don't have to win on the outside just by running by guys. In fact, at the NFL level, it usually takes more than that because, you know, players are good at this level. And that's exactly what Drake London was able to do is use his footwork and use his route running to, you know, allow this to happen. Going over here now, this is another great example of just that route running and footwork that's just you know, on such a high level, it's so elite now, even at a young age, where it's going to be man coverage, and you see the route he's running. It's route over the middle, uh, you know, in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Okay, cool. Right when this play begins, you see right here, wide open, because the defensive back covering him was well far off. So, okay, great. Uh, you know, again, schemed open. Good job. You're, you know, putting yourself in position to succeed, but really, it's Arthur Smith putting you in position to succeed. But hey, you don't have to apologize for getting open. If you're open, you're open. However, watch him make this catch and then make a move and be able to get around not just one, but two Seattle defenders and get into the end zone for a touchdown. That's a fantastic play. That's not a good play. That's a great play. And again, going back to college, these are the kind of things that Drake London was doing consistently. Drake London was constantly being able to win using footwork and juking guys out and things of that nature. So just because he's not the fastest, whatever, he's still, you know, whatever. He, he's an NFL caliber speed receiver, but he can just get open in other ways, which is what makes him such a unique receiver, I think. And that's part of why when he was drafted by the, the Falcons, I kind of compared him to A.J. Brown. 
and I can see it. They're, they're different receivers, but they're playing the same role in that Arthur Smith offense of someone who can kind of do these schemed open plays, but can also just win on the outside if you need them to do that. One last play, again, kind of going back to what I talked about earlier, it's going to be a, you know, a concept that's designed to get uh, to, it, it's designed to scheme open Drake London. You have a receiver running a deep route to try to push back the corner who's on the top right-hand corner of the screen, which is the deep left of the offense. You then have Drake London, who's the route uh, going over the middle, kind of past the linebackers. And you see with the Saints kind of selling as though they might be doing an all-out blitz, that means it might be more difficult for them to get back. But when this play begins, one of the weird things is not the best clear out route here. So, you know, uh, two Atlanta players very close to each other, which maybe isn't ideal. But hey, it doesn't matter. Jake London is still able to get open enough to make the grab, able to pick up a little bit of yards after the catch as well. And again, running the routes that the offense was designing for him while still doing some other stuff. If you can do that, uh, every single offensive coordinator in the league would love to have you. Uh, and I'm sure Arthur Smith definitely loves to have Drake London. So that's just the kind of stuff that he can, you know, bring to the table and why he has been so effective already for the Atlanta Falcons. If I'm doing offensive player of the year odds, do I think that he could potentially win? Yeah, potentially. I mean, certainly, you know, he's, he's doing well. Now, one thing that's going to hurt him is, you know, Falcons do not get as much attention as other teams do. That's just, you know, the reality of where they're at right now. They're kind of a rebuilding team, so it makes some sense that that's going to happen. But still, uh, you know, not as many primetime games as some other uh, good rookies. And because of that, potentially, he, you know, that would hurt his voting and things like that, which I know it shouldn't matter. Who cares? You know, if you're voting, you should watch every game. But let's be honest, they don't. So uh, that's going to make things more difficult. However, I still think he's been very impressive. I still think that he deserves a lot of praise for what he's done. And I think that I could, I honestly think he's only going to get better. He knows all the little tricks to allow himself to get open. So I don't see why he would get worse. I think that he'll still continue to find ways to get open doing this stuff. And again, we still haven't seen him be this like great contested catch receiver too much, which is kind of what we knew he was coming out of college. I think that some people were concerned that that's all he was, but no, that's never been the biggest part of his game. The biggest part of his game has always been route running. It's always been footwork. And that's why he's been able to be successful so far at the NFL level, just three games in. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.